Hey everybody and welcome. In this video we're going to look at deformers. This video was requested by Nerds Playhouse so thanks for that request. If you want me to make any specific topic videos just let me know in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Before I get started I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. We've crossed the 700 subs line. Absolutely insane. Um, let's keep it going. Let's see if we can hit a thousand. <laughs> also, hit the notification icon if you haven't already subscribed and uh, give us a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is have a nice empty scene like this. If I just hit that button there, the reset camera button, this is basically what you will all be seeing. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new primitive by clicking this object up here that looks like three shapes smushed together. We're going to check that it's set to plane. We're going to make it four meters across and then 100 divisions wide so that we've got plenty of vertices to work with. And then we're going to select our plane like so. I'm going to move the camera so that we can see it a little better. Once we've got our plane selected, what we're going to do is we're going to go to create top and we're going to create a new deformer doesn't matter what we call it in this case if you had lots you could give them specific names but we're just going to leave that as default and hit OK. Now that we've got our deformer on our plane you can see that some interesting new things have appeared. So the first thing we can do is we can select the base and you can see the deformer base is there and we can pretty much just move that around and do what we want with it it's not going to change a great deal right at this moment and you can see that it's got an area of effect highlighted on each vertices color coded as red being lots of effect yellow being not so much effect and then obviously grayed out ones will be no effect whatsoever and we can actually change that by selecting the field in the scene tab and we can actually move that up or down and as you can see the area of effect changes and that's really useful. So this is kind of like where you select what um, vertices you want to actually affect. And we can actually change this by changing the scale along the X and Z axis so we can make it thinner like so, or we can make it thinner along that axis like so, no problem. And then if we actually open up the deformer one base we've actually got the deformer there and now if we were to drag that around you can see that it's actually moving the vertices around based on where we put that deformer so if we wanted this to look like it's bending we can come back to our area of effect field we could change the x scale to make it very thin and then we can increase the Z scale to make it fairly evenly spread out all the way across and then when we select our deformer we can select our deformer again sorry I misclicked there you can select your deformer and then you can create like a bend in the middle of your object and you can obviously stack these um, you could create another one and bend it in a different way but that's really all there is to using deformers in this particular case so um, <laughs> I hope you found that very useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye bye.